Hello everyone, I'm Demothy of Next Gen Nation here with Sergio, and Sergio's gonna show us this cool thing from HP and Intel. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Well, absolutely. What we have here is called the Sprout by HP and Intel. It's the world's first immersive computing system and allows you to be really creative. It basically allows you to basically streamline the process of being creative. So what used to take normally hours and days, now just instantly in seconds, we can actually go in and do it. I would love to show you guys. Yeah, very cool. Yeah, so you have like this little ch uh, touch screen thing at the bottom. It looks like something out of like a sci-fi movie. Right, it kind of does, but actually this is actually your touch mat here and this is where actually most of the sprout magic happens so right here is where all your creative space is where it's gonna happen a lot of people think it's with the illuminator here but actually the touch mat as actually tells the projector what to project down on down on here so from here if I hit create and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get this butterfly here and I'm gonna throw it right here and I'm gonna hit the ca camera button and now I'm gonna take a picture of them So now within seconds, now we have now we have a scanned image of our 3D item right now. And then from here, now we can manipulate the item. Now we can add it in and out of photos. We can edit it. We can do a lot of different things with this item. So from here, if I want to edit, I can just, within a few steps, I could just hit edit, punch. Then I can select whatever shape I want. And now I can, now I just got rid of the middle of that butterfly within a few seconds. And then from there, I could take a picture of you and put your face in the butterfly. Very cool, very cool. And what other things that can the uh, Sprout do? Well, a Sprout can do a lot of different things. It just depends on what you're into. Um, one of the cool features I like is, like, if you exit the Sprout gallery here, what we can do is actually, let's say when you go on to go online, let's say you're using the internet here. So I pulled up one page here, right? Now when I pulled up another page, now I can, I can drag it all the way down here, and now I can use this touch mat as a second screen. So now I can be doing multiple things at one time. So I can be playing Netflix on one and YouTube on another. I can be doing homework on one while doing research on the other. I can be doing multiple things at one time. So I can, that's the beauty about this problem. You can be doing multiple things at one time. And so what I'm doing down here at this stage won't affect what's going on up here. Awesome. So there's a lot of things that the Sprout can do. So you can have it as like a, uh, a secondary screen or you could use it for multiple different programs. Are there any like uh, programs that are exclusive to the Sprout? Um, there's a lot of programs that are exclusive to the Sprout. Like um, if you're familiar with Illustrator or uh, Adobe Photoshop, um, actually the Sprout and uh Adobe and Sprout, uh, Creator Sprout actually work together to create a new form of Illustrator where now I can actually capture this butterfly or any 3D item and now I can vectorize it and I can I can use it within the, uh, the parameters of Photoshop and Illustrator. So I'm just give it a second here to load up so I can kind of show you guys the, the, the capture feature from Illustrator. And then also the Sprout Gallery has about 23 exclusive apps that are just exclusive to Sprout. So and they're actually coming out with a couple more as well that we haven't, haven't been announced yet. So you can do a lot of different things. All right, so now we have, uh, so here's our Illustrator menu, right? So now let's go, so let's go file new. And now, now we have our, our documents right here. So now I can throw my same butterfly right here and I can hit capture. And again, it takes a second here to capture it. And so now I have my item here in Illustrator now. So now I can work with it within Illustrator. So now if I, when I switch it from Touch to Essentials, now I, I can go basically go, let's see, effect, so that. object, and then we're gonna go, we're gonna trace it. And then we can expand it. Now I just vectorize the item right now. So now you can work it with it within Illustrator. And the same goes for Photoshop as well. So Sprout and Adobe actually work together on that. And now if you want to go into other apps, like all you got to do is hit the home button. And then you go to the Sprout Marketplace. Now we have all these are 24 apps that are basically Sprout Sproutified. So I can kind of go, I can go into all of them, but I'm pretty sure you don't want to do that. <laughs> so I can go into kind of some of the more, uh, some, of the, some of the more fun ones. So I can do stop motion. Like, have you ever seen that show Robot Chicken? So now I can make my own Robot Chicken video here. So what I can do if I had clay or something, I can stick my, my, my guys in here. I can turn on the auto frame grabber. I'm just giving you a really simple, simplified version of it. I can take off the frames per second here, and now I'm just gonna start hitting frame grab, and now I can just basically move them across, and now, within seconds, now I have a nice little video right there. And then if I hit the audio button, now I can do voiceover work, I can, then I can go back to animate. And then from here, you can do the traditional way. You can turn off the frame grabber, and then you can do like, 
you know, turn up the uh, the frames for uh, the frame delay, excuse me, and then get your hand out the way. That's one frame. That's one frame, and then you know, kind of do a proper video. And then here, it also gives you a lot more options. So from here, if I hit the button show, now I can import backgrounds, I can import assets, I can use a pen and draw stuff in there. So you can do a lot of different things. So here, as simply as let me do a space background, put the moon right there. Oops, let's go back here. So I put the moon back there, and now we have spaceships. So now I can draw them basically fighting into the, each other, and I can I can add my own sound effects to it. All right, very cool. Well, this seems like a very interesting product. When do we expect to, to have this out for the public to use? Um, actually, it's already out. It's already out. Like, so if you go to Best Buy, you go to Sprout.com, HP.com, it's all available there, and all it goes for a really low price of $15.99. Okay, very cool. Well, thank you so much for doing this interview with us and for showing us this really cool product. If you want to see more of our content, you can go to our website, next-gennation.com, and go ahead and check out the Sprout. It's out. It's out. You can buy it at Best Buy right now, and we'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much.